Studies have shown many Americans have increased their alcohol consumption since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Dr. Marina Reutemann is the liver program director at UCSF Fresno, and she sits down with us to explain how this trend of drinking more has affected people here in the Valley. Acute alcoholic hepatitis is um, uh, a condition, a disease that happens when people drink a lot of alcohol in relatively short amount of time. So I've noticed that instead of seeing maybe one or two patients a month, you know, with this previously rare condition, suddenly half of my service had acute alcoholic hepatitis. We looked um, at over 300 patients uh, admitted to the um, community medical center system. We compared 2019 data to the 2020 data. And this is where really the, the shocking numbers come out. We noticed that overall um, increase in incidence of alcoholic hepatitis, and we're talking about severe disease requiring in-hospital management, went up by 51%. Let's try to break down why is that, what happened, right? And in my mind, I think what we're looking at is a perfect storm, right? So first of all, COVID-19 drove levels of anxiety and depressions up. Right? So that correlates with increased alcohol consumption. Two, stay at home orders, um, remove the distractions that we normally have by going to work or going to events or whatnot, and at the same time, increased access to alcohol. The patient may feel unwell. They may feel tired. They may, they may feel nauseated. They may be vomiting. They may have a low grade fever. So all of that, right, causes them to stop drinking because they're just not feeling up to it, right? So then two to three to four weeks passes and then they notice that even though those acute symptoms may have gotten better, but they have turned yellow, their skin, their eyes, they notice that they have gotten very swollen, particularly in their abdomen. So the treatment is first and foremost is abstinence, right? You uh, patients have to stop drinking immediately, completely and forever. I'm still seeing very high numbers of patients with severe alcoholic hepatitis being admitted. And I think uh, the reason for that, the pandemic has gone on for so long, right? That those harmful drinking patterns are pretty much ingrained, right? And the stressors haven't gone away completely.